I want to start with Trader Joe's first. So I always get some form of maple syrup because I love maple syrup and I always try to get organic. This is the smaller Vermont one. I think it's, it's $4.99. The everything but the bagel, this seasoning is really good on fries if you put them in the air fryer and this was $1.99. I haven't had this in a long time. Now, if you've never had these before, they were out for a little while, I got them today. The fire, you've never had these before. They're the fire roasted bell peppers and onions. These seem like they have oil on them or something, but they do not. And the green peppers actually bother my stomach, so I honestly, I take them out. <laughs> But these are good, like it says, the quick fix. If you just want something really fast, you just throw them in the pan, heat them up, and they're good. So Trader Joe's discontinued two of my sauces that were fat-free, my fat-free marinara's, and I am going to be making my own sauce tonight because I really wanted spaghetti. I have some leftover, I have some leftover spaghetti from Trader Joe's. So this is strained tomatoes. I've used this before and I'm gonna mix it with the sun-dried tomatoes. And I might have to thicken it with some cornstarch because I don't think I have any tomato paste. But these are really good if you wanna put these in salads. If you want to, I always throw them in my cauliflower rice. These are delicious. And also in pasta sauces as well. Next is the vegetable broth. I always get this for stir frying, sauteing vegetables so you don't have to use any oil. This is a brand new item in the new items area. So happy. They have a lot of organic oats. They have a lot of gluten-free oats, but they have not had gluten-free organic rolled oats. And this has some extra grains, amaranth, quinoa. And this has a little bit of flaxseed too. So there's the back does not have any weird ingredients and I am really excited to try this because they finally have a gluten-free vegan organic rolled oats this is something that I am trying tonight I am so excited this is brand new the Trader Joe's root vegetable fries sweet potatoes carrots beets and parsnips honestly I don't like parsnips so I probably will be taking those out and this is how it looks on the back zero grams of fat and no oil only the vegetables so excited to try these up oh, and their air fryer instructions so here they are again now moving oh and i got bananas at trader joe's now moving on to costco i got this hummus trio for a party that i'm going to because it's not a vegan party and I need something to eat and share with other people. So this is the hummus trio. Pretty decent ingredients. There is a little bit of olive oil and sunflower oil and some other things, but I'm not going to be taking this home. So I figure just for the party, this is fine. And then someone else can take this home because I will not be taking it home. This is the organic silk milk. They actually give you um, three, and this lasts us a little while, so it's a really good deal. I think it's um, $8.99 at Costco. These are something I'm super excited all the time to get, the organic dark sweet cherries. These are delicious. There's I always get the cherries from Whole Foods and the cherries from Trader Joe's when I don't get this. And quite honestly, these are a lot better. So I'm really excited about these. These were like $10 though, but they last a long time. Yeah, I don't even know if this is gonna last a week because we eat a lot of broccoli, but I am excited to try this brand. And lastly, I got the orange juice. It's the organic orange juice. And this lasts a long time. This will last about two weeks. I use orange juice to take my supplements and sometimes I add orange juice in my um, cauliflower rice or stir fry sauces. 
So these are the things. These are the things I got at Trader Joe's and at Costco. And I hope you enjoy this little video. Please like and follow if you found it enjoyable. And I'll see you next time.